How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K22, my NBA what if scenario. So in today's scenario, it was a recommendation from Vic, uh, Vishnu. So shout out to Vishnu, uh, Jay Kumar, once again for another idea. And it's going to involve Imani Bates. Now he is freshman right now, but he reclassified. If you guys don't know, he goes to Memphis. So we're gonna do what if the Memphis Grizzlies get Imani, you know, Imani Bates. Now Will they actually? Probably not, but you know what? We're going to make it happen and see what would happen if they did. That's why it's a what-if scenario. So, if you guys enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Link down in the comments for some more video ideas. Check my social down in the description. Playlist containing other NBA 2K community content. That's also there. Check my channel as well if you like other content from me. And let's get on the gameplay. All right, guys. So, we're about to basically start the, you know, video. So, the Hawks won the championship. Last year was the Sixers. Uh, we actually made the playoffs. I mean, the play in the first year. And then this year we lost in five to the Clippers in the first round. Trey Young's Finals MVP. So let's actually get on to the offseason. So we have a 19th pick, which is not good enough to get Monty Bates. Uh, also, I did make a couple moves, only small moves. I was mainly re signing some guys. I did have to trade away a few people. I actually traded for Buddy Heald. I uh, traded away Jarek Holver and Jandy Melty because I had too many shooting guards. And then I traded John Conchar in a second round pick for a first round pick. Kind of just so that we can have a roster. And we drafted a few guys in 2022 which we might end up trading. So uh, we're going to go to the draft, but we're going to have to try to trade for the number one pick. So let's see if I can muster up a trade so I can get Monty Bates. Okay, I traded away Buddy Heald, Kyle Anderson, a trade exception, and three picks. One of our picks being this year and two other first round picks to the Houston Rockets. So I made another trade with the Rockets. So we're going to be able to get a Monty Bates, which is good. I, I get to keep Jaron Jackson Jr. I don't know if I had to or not. Or if I was supposed to, but I, I'm keeping him. So we're going to have a big three now. So here we go. Cool. We're sort of a big three, I guess. So yeah, Monty Bates. I actually probably didn't need to trade for the number one pick, but I just want to ensure that I get him. So just trading for the number one pick works. And plus I give a little more assets, which is fine because it's fair. It's fair. Uh, yeah, I got Dylan Brooks. You know, we're going to keep him, I think. Maybe trade him, but who knows? Either way, I'm going to sim to the end. Um, so yeah, we got Imani Bates. That's the main guy of the video. So we're gonna do like a few seasons with him, and then these guys don't really care about. So team player options: uh, Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman, Zaire Williams, and Santi Aldama. We're gonna accept all of them, all the homies and qualifiers: John Morant and Brandon Clark. Got to resign both of them. Otherwise, we may not win. So uh, John Morant is probably gonna go to the Cavs, but I'm gonna match it. So it doesn't matter. Oh, Dylan Brooks also got to sign him. See, that's right. Okay, so Dylan Brooks, give him a contract. 14 for four years. And then Brandon Clark, we'll give him 8.75 for two years. Why not? All right, so John Moran, we're going to match, obviously, and then agree to all these guys. And uh should announce the rights on that. So um, once I do that, I'll fill out the rest of my roster. I'll show you guys uh, what I have at player progression. So this is what we got. So we got John Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr., Dylan Brooks, Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman. You got Imani Bates <coughs> back on the squad. Well, I mean, he's not back on the squad, but yeah. We got Brandon Clark, got Tyus Jones. We've got uh, Zaire Williams, who I guess we, I think we drafted him. Uh, no, he was drafted in 2021. Uh, there was, that was uh, their pick. 2021? Yeah. Uh, Adrian Griffin. This is the guy we randomly drafted i didn't draft him i let cp do it then we got tice got c9 back aldama keels and salas so there we go that is gonna be the team i'll see you guys in the start of the first season of imani bates all right so the coaching game plan this is what what it's gonna be so bates is coming off the bench right now so dylan brooks is starting hmm bates off the bench number one overall pick Monty Bates coming off the bench. I mean, the Grizzlies are a good team. So, I mean, if he would go to the Grizzlies, probably wouldn't start. I don't know. Maybe he'd start over Dylan Brooks. Um, let's, uh, for the sake of the video, I will be swapping uh, minutes and letting Monty Bates start. We'll give him 28 minutes, though. And then if we'll just let the coach kind of adjust the game plan throughout the season if the coach wants to so i'd imagine maybe next season maybe monty bates will be starting but for now he'll start and then maybe the coach will just readjust the lineup but yeah this is i'll see you guys at the trade deadline show you guys the stats all right guys so we're at the trade deadline we're kind of struggling a little bit 9 8 seed right now 
Currently 28-26, which isn't awful, but it's not that great. But let's take a look at these stats and see how uh, the, bo the boy Bates is doing. So John Moran's playing really well. Like, that makes a lot of sense, like, that he's playing really, really well. Um, you know, uh, Aaron Jackson Jr. is playing pretty well, too. Second option. Dylan Brooks and Bates. Bates is actually more efficient, I'd say, than Dylan Brooks, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he's starting now. Who knows? But we'll see. Maybe we'll trade away Brooks for some other pieces at, in the offseason. Uh, Desmond Zane's not doing too bad. Tillman, Clark. Um, it's it's not bad. It's not uh, too, doing, we're not doing terrible. I'm not sure why uh, Trevor Keels is in the G in in the G League, but okay, maybe I guess he's getting some minutes there. Why not? So I don't know. Who knows? Either way, curious to see the coaching game plan. So they have Dylan Brooks starting. Uh, actually, they want Amani Bates to start. So we're gonna do that. He's hot. So we'll we'll let him we'll let him get some burn time. Might as well. So speed up that development. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully we're in the play-in at the minimum. For the first season of Bates, we got a mobile uh, MVP. Victor Wembanyama won the rookie there on the Kings. Um, fair enough. Uh, Sean Highland, six man of the year. Giannis, most proved Xavier Tillman. Oh, that's cool that he won that. Good for uh, Tillman. Um, I mean, the video's not really about him, but I don't know why he won this. I mean, sure, he improved. But, actually, he did improve. Fair enough, he did. Yeah, no, he, he improved. I'll give him that. Nick Nurse, coach of the year. Executive of the year, Jacob Park. And we were the fit seat, so we actually ended up having a nice second half of the year. Here's the any other awards. Uh, we're going to have John Moran on All-NBA second team. That's not a surprise. That is not a surprise. This man is on All-NBA second team. Uh, and then All-NBA third team. Uh, do we have any oh, we have Jaron Jackson Jr. Nice. He had a really nice, he had a nice season. Uh, when he stays on the court, you never know. It could be pretty decent. So good stuff from Jaron. Love to see it. Uh, all defensive first. And second. We got all defensive second, Jaron Jackson Jr. Very nice. And I imagine we'll have Monty Bates on Oki first team, which is great. He's actually pretty good. 15.6 points, 4.4 uh, assists, only 0.5 rebounds, though. That's a little. That's a little weird. Something's, like, not right with his tendencies. How do you only have half a rebound in your 6'10? That's. I don't know. That that's a little alarming. Okay, but either way, um, other than the fact that he couldn't grab a rebound, it's the numbers look pretty good. So good for uh, Monty Bates. Uh, not gonna try to say that name. All right, so we're taking on the Kings. So Wemon Young versus Bates. That is interesting. That's an interesting matchup for sure. Curious to see the rest of the stats. Here they are. You guys can pause and take a look. I mean, I'm not going to really go too much, too far in depth with these, but um, solid stuff. But we're going to make a couple moves in the offseason, I feel like, to just kind of fill out the roster. But I don't know. We'll see. So we're soon as we're playing. So game one against the Kings. Here we go. Game one, they win. Are we going to win game two? We're not. Game three, two to one. Can we tie the series? We tie up the series. And we're down three to two, and we lose in six. Great job, 2K. Gotta love 2K. And the Thunder beat the Cavaliers in the finals. So, uh, Chet Holmgren, finals MVP. Good for you, Chet. Chetty boy, Chetty boy. I'm curious to see the playoff stats. How did Imani do as a playoff performer? Not too bad. His rebounding, what is this? What is his rebounding? Was that when I did the when I did the Charlotte Hornets rebuild? Did he have point two rebounds? I don't think he had point two rebounds. I don't know. That's just weird. But uh, his efficiency went down. So okay, yeah, I wouldn't say he did better in the playoffs. All right, well, it's fine. It's his rookie season, so it's promising. Except for the rebounding, we got to get that up. So here we go. On to the second season deal with the Timberwolves. We're going to go with Dylan Brooks, our twenty, our 21st pick this year's draft, and Steven Adams for Lou Dort and DeAndre Russell. The reason for that is I get Lou Dort and DeAndre Russell, both quality players in rotation. Steven Adams is going to continue to regress, and he really didn't play that much this year. So, uh, And also, I guess maybe that means Imani Bates will play a little bit more minutes. I don't know. I, maybe not, but we're going to do that deal. So, rookies... 
yeah, don't need them. So team player options, we're going to accept all these guys because we might as well. And qualifiers, Desmond Bain, we're just going to try to re-sign him. So I think I'll do that and fill out the rest of the roster. So I'll see you guys once I do that. Oh, yeah, Tillman and Clark. I forgot about them, too. All right, so John Moran to 95. Got Jaron Jackson, 88. Monty Bates goes up to an 82, which is nice. Uh, Desmond Bain, okay, we, who we re-signed, but he took the qualifier, I guess. Two uh, he glitched out. Uh, Tillman, got him back. We got Lou Dort now. We've got D'Angelo Russell, Brandon Clark. We got back. We've got Zaire Williams. We got Adrian Griffin Jr. We got Tyrus Jones still. I mean, the team's looking pretty solid, I'd say. Um, for the most part, it's a pretty dang good team. So... I think it is, at least. So, does 2K think so? Well, we're going to simulate to the second season, and we'll find out. Okay, so, they want Lou Dort starting over... Why is Imani Bates not starting? Why? No. We're going to have Imani Bates start. Maybe it's better that he doesn't. I don't know. Maybe he could be, like, the number one guy off the bench. I don't know. I feel like this is better. I feel like it's better if he starts. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should we start Bates? I feel like we should, right? Yeah, we have to. I mean, he's the... Guys, he's the main focus of the video. He's got to start. He's got to start over Lou Dort. It's fine. Lou Dort coming off the bench should be pretty decent. And again, if Coach wants to change that during the season, he's free to do so. I'm not going to judge him. I'm not going to judge uh, my coach. I'm not going to judge Frank Kelly. Oh, you know why we're not very good, by the way? So, yeah, I don't do... I, guys, when I do my rebuilds, I don't sign coaches. Okay, like, I just don't, I don't sign my coaches. So, there you go. That's why I'm not always that good. So, if I really wanted to, yeah, I could sign coaches, like, and, and just cut it and make my team really good. And that's also part of the reason why, like, it's the same thing in, like, uh, the NFL, the MLB, the, uh, the NHL. I don't do coach signings. I just, it's like... You guys don't care about that. I mean, yes, it might probably make my team better, but eh, eh. All right. Either way, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline and show you guys the stats. So at the trade deadline, we're currently the fourth seed, 31 and 25, which isn't too bad. We're doing pretty decent, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe the West is a little weak. I mean, 31 and 25 is the fourth seed. I don't know. Maybe I guess so. But uh, looking at the numbers, so John Moran's playing well. Jared Jacks is doing decent. Imani Bates uh, is having pretty good, uh, pretty. Decent scoring season, although the efficiency went down a little bit. But uh, it looks like he's taking more shots, playing more minutes. The defense has improved a little bit. Um, he's rebounding a little bit better, but only one rebound a game. I, I It must be his tendencies, right? Like, unless he's just not a good rebounder. Wow, he's an F. He's an F rebounder. Is he, like, not a good rebounder, guys? Like, I don't know. Huh. I never realized that. Maybe he's not a good rebounder. I, okay. Uh, you know, I, whatever, I guess. I, there's really not much I could say. It's like, I just like looking at it. Like, why is he not rebounding? Um, I don't know. I'll look at his stats, I guess. But I, maybe the guy that made the draft class just forgot to put his rebounding up. I don't know. Hopefully it just improves, I guess, by his fourth season. Maybe he'll be grabbing two rebounds a game. I don't know. Either way, guys, um, so far, so good. We're just going to continue to simulate, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Yeah, so, Lamella Ball MVP, Kwame Evans Jr., Rookie of the Year, Sixth of the Year, James Harden. Interesting. Uh, Thomas Lillard, Giannis, most proved, Jabari Walker, Coach of the Year, David Bickerstaff, Sixth of the Year, Brandon Harrison. So, we dropped down to 60s. We didn't have a, we had a very bad second half of the year, uh, but at least we didn't uh, get the playing game, though. Uh, John Morant, All NBA Second Team, which is pretty good. Pretty good look at Chris Broussard. All right. Yeah, not too bad from Jolly. You like to see that. Uh, and then all the third team. Yeah, nobody. No other Memphis Grizzlies. We've got Jaron Jackson Jr. on all defensive first team. Now, that's good to see. It's good for Jaron on all defensive second team. We've got, uh, you know, the two Celtics guys, Evan Mobley and things of that nature. Yeah, no other Memphis Grizzlies on here, which is fine. So, yeah, with the 60s who we taking on, it is going to be the Timberwolves. Nice. All right, so let's take a look at the stats. See how everybody did. So, yeah. You know, Bates played pretty well. I mean, 18.4.4 for is pretty good. He scored the ball well. Uh, I mean, the efficiency went a little bit down. He shot the free throw better. He played a lot more minutes. Uh, defense looked like it improved. But, yeah, he's just not a good rebounder. 
Uh, I don't know if it... I, I mean, if you're looking at his college stats, I mean, three rebounds a game isn't great. It's definitely not great. But, I don't know. Is it is it worthy of an F? Uh, maybe like a D? Maybe? I don't know. My camera's burning up. Either way. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, here's the stats. So, again, not much going on there. I am curious to see... Uh, what the coaching game plan is going to be looking like for the playoffs. Uh, if Bates is only playing 20 minutes, he must be struggling. Yeah, I don't know why his overall is dipping. Uh, maybe because he's out of energy. I have no idea. But either way, let's uh, see the play in. So here we go. Grizzlies versus the Timberwolves. Game one, the Timberwolves beat us by a lot. Game two, we lose again. Game three, wow, we're really going to get swept. No, okay, we win game four. And we lose in five. So we're really struggling in the playoffs. Uh, I don't know why. First round exit every time. Uh, a little bit odd, but whatever. It is what it is. Let's take a look at the playoff stats. How do we do? Uh, wait, is that playoff stats? Yeah, it is. Okay, Bates was terrible in the playoffs. He was... Well, I wouldn't say he was terrible, but, I mean, he wasn't that great. I mean, he shot the three well, but... I don't know, man. A little worried about Bates. I'm a little bit worried. He's uh, not really playing what, how I thought he would play. Cavs won the finals. Garland finals MVP. We got two more seasons of this. So, come on, Bates. Gotta make a jump here. All right, guys. So, um, I just went through draft qualifiers. So, obviously, we accepted uh, Monty Bates and a bunch of other... Oh, Bates, pretty much everybody. Pretty much bringing out the squad. I'm curious to see if we have any free agents. Uh, Desmond Bain, Zaire Williams, Tyus Jones, Sandy Aldama. Okay, so try to get Bain back on a 14-year or $14 million a year for three years. Tyus Jones, they're going to let him walk because we drafted a point guard. So, yeah, uh, we're not stressing Daniel Tice. Uh, I do want to bring back Zaire Williams. I don't want to bring back uh, Sandy Aldama. All right, guys, so that player progression, we still got uh, John Morant. We've got uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. We've got Imani Bates, whose rebounding is now a D-, minus. so that's, I guess, better. Uh, maybe he'll grab two rebounds this year. Uh, but he has gone up to the 86. Everything else is improving, which is nice. Uh, so we got Tillman, Bain, Griffin Jr., Williams, uh, Lou Dort's still here, uh, Diaz Russ is still here, Brandon Clark's still here. Uh, Jeff Keels, uh, Salas, Aldama. I picked up Hernan Gomez, and then this is our guy that we drafted. So he's never going to see the light of day, the auto generate guy. So yeah, let's uh, go on our third season of Imani Bates. All right, so this is what the rotation looking like. So Imani Bates going to get 32 minutes along with uh, Ja Jaren. So <sighs> okay, it's 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 looking okay. I mean, it, the team is looking pretty decent. Uh, the question is, can we win? Can we get past the first round, please, 2K? That'd be great. Uh, but I'm just going to simulate, and I'll see you guys uh, at the midway point. Show you guys the stats. All right, guys, we're at the trade deadline, and we are struggling. Woo, struggling. We're absolutely terrible. So 23 and 32, we're garbage. Uh, we got to make some moves. This team's terrible. So uh, I really don't know why, but we are. Um... Bates is averaging 20 over 20 a game, which is nice. So he is uh, he's doing well. John Morant is still leading my team, though. Bates is shooting the ball pretty well, too. So he had 20.6 points, 4.9 rebounds, 1.7. No, 1.7 rebounds, 4.9 assists. Uh, so yeah, he's having a nice season for sure. So he's playing pretty well, which is good to see. Uh, Jordan Jackson Jr. is doing all right. AJ Griffin, Bain, uh, Russell struggling. I'm going to look to move D'Angelo Russell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, I, I need to see if I make some trades because this team isn't really that good. So let's uh, let's do it. Desmond Bain, Lou Dort, and a future first round pick to the Knicks. I'm gonna get back quickly in Connington. Connington's really not that great, but quickly's definitely an upgrade. So that's one of my first trades I'm gonna make there. I'm gonna do this deal with the Suns. We're gonna give up Hunter Salas and DeAndre Russell and a future first round pick, lottery protected for Cole Anthony and Drew Eubanks. So I think. Uh, that is going to be a pretty serious talent upgrade for the team. So uh, the bench is definitely a lot better for sure. I don't know if that's what we really needed, but hey, we will take it. We still only have a center, uh, but I guess like a few of these guys, like Jaron Jackson Jr. can play backup center. 
though that's not too big of a deal. And I guess Brandon Clark could play a little bit of center if we need to, small ball. So uh, I'm totally fine with that. I think this should be okay, uh, but hopefully we can make a run here because we're currently the 12th seed. All right, the Ball MVP. This guy, rookie of the year, sick man of the year. This guy, tied at Washington. This is Giannis on the Bulls. Interesting. Most proved this guy, Bay Fall. Chris Sheard, Ball Mosley. You could hear this guy. All right, so we have the 8th seed, which is not very good. So we're kind of going on the downwards trend, which is a little bit odd. But uh, yeah, here are your All NBA first, uh, second, and third teams. Uh, no Memphis Grizzlies, so Ja did not make it this year, which is fine. Uh, Jaren Jack team made all the defensive first team again, which is cool to see. And then all defense second team, nobody else. And then rookies, we don't have any. So yeah, we're the eight seed in the play-in game, taking on the Golden State Warriors. And yeah, we're 40-42, which is really not good. So we kind of struggled, but you know it is what it is. But let's just see who we're taking. Uh, see the stats. So Bates had a nice year, though. I mean, scoring-wise, 50-40-90 season, 22 points a game, 1.5 rebounds. Got to get that rebounding up. Five, over five assists. Uh, and his defense looking pretty good. So. He has become a very nice player. Like other than the rebounding, he's not very good at that. But I don't know. Maybe he'll make another jump and it'll go up to a D, so he can average two rebounds a game. That'd be great. Uh, I don't know why his rebounding is so low, though. Either way, I definitely think trading for Cole Anthony and, and quickly though makes the bench solid. And uh, yeah, well, actually, yeah, yeah, because he's yeah quickly he's coming off the bench, I believe. I don't think he's coming off. I think AJ Griffin's still starting, but. I don't know. If he's not, he's not. It doesn't really matter to me. It still makes the team better, I think, in my opinion. Well, hopefully 2K thinks so, because my opinion doesn't matter. But, uh, okay, yeah, quickly starting. Okay, so either way, the team's looking pretty good. Now, can we beat the Warriors in the play-in and get the seventh seed and take on the Pelicans? Would I rather take on the Pelicans or the Thunder? Okay, I'd rather take on the Thunder, so I want to lose. Okay. So we, we're taking on the Thunder. Actually, do I, would I rather take on the Thunder? Hmm. What's their lineup looking like? See, it looks good, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'd rather take them on. I don't know. Either way, we're taking them on, so it doesn't matter. Game one. We win game one. Nice. Game two. They win game two. Can we win game three? We win game three. Can we win game four? No, we can't. So it's 2-2, two -two, best of three. Game five, we lose pivotal game five and we lose in six so three straight seasons of embarrassment i don't understand what's going on here and let's take a look at these stats here in the playoffs so bates did have a pretty good playoffs i'd say uh yeah he was really good in the playoffs so maybe it's just the some of the pieces around us i don't know maybe the thunder just better the thunder were just better i mean we were the eight seed but uh yeah, we're probably either way, we probably would have lost even if we played against the Pelicans because they're probably going to win the... Nope, they didn't win the finals. The Cla Cavaliers won the finals. So we got one more season of Bates. I'd like to just get, at least get out of the first round. If That that would be great, 2K. Uh, I'm going to do another trade here with the Knicks. So I'm going to give up Tillman, Clark, and Hernan Gomez in a second round pick. I'm going to get back Clint Capella. Uh, and then we're also going to get Desmond Bain back. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Knicks. There we go. Two trades with the Knicks in the video. Let's deal with the Bucks. So my auto journey rookie, two picks. We get back a first round pick at 2027, which isn't really going to matter. And we get Shake Milton. So just a better point guard in general. So there we go. Nice. Happy about that. Team player options. John Morant declined his player option. I didn't even know he had a player option. I don't remember giving him one. Oh, because I matched his contract. At Bates, we're going to accept, obviously. So his last year of us doing this so we're obviously gonna keep him and qualifiers so santi Alton, i'm not gonna give him a qualifier this year griffin keels who hasn't even he's barely played i guess we'll give him a qualifier and then jaron jackson jr we need to resign as well so big big free agency here so this should be a lot of fun uh what is, okay pacers wow okay he's gonna go to the pacers so john Morant might screw me over here Hopefully not, though. But we're going to give him uh, $37 million for five years. And hopefully he signs that. Uh, I guess Jaron Jackson's a restricted free agent. That I also did not know. I, I, like, I don't know why. Why is he restricted? It's weird. Uh, okay, fair play, I guess. Uh, Trevor, Trevor Keels, $9 million for three years. Jaron Jackson Jr. 
He wants so much money. Jeez. Okay. I might just have him on the qualifier, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to fill out the rest of my roster. I'm just going to try to get most of these guys back. And I'll see you guys once I do that, hopefully. Cole Anthony. I need to get him back, too. But I might not be able to. Hopefully, I can. I'm going to cap hold him. Drew Eubanks. Don't care. Santi Altima. Don't care. Uh, Zaire Williams. Do I care? Kind of. I'll, I'll cap hold him for now. All right, guys. So, our player progressions. Here we are. In our, this is going to be our final season, by the way. So, yeah, John Morant's a 95. Got Monty Bates up to an 88, which is cool. Uh, that's nice to see. Jaron Jackson Jr. is an 88. Cole Anthony, we were able to keep. Uh, 2K, 2K glitched out. I was hard capped, but it still let me sign him. So, cool. Uh, Clint Capella, have him quickly. We have got him. Desmond Bain, AJ Griffith Jr. here still. We got Zaire Williams, Shake Milton, Yaka Pertle picked him up. Trevor Keel still got. Hernan Gomez, we picked him up. Derek Jones Jr. picked him up. I got Isaiah Roby. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how good we're going to be. I will see you guys at the start of the final season of this what if scenario. All right, guys. So this is going to be the starting lineup. So John Morant quickly. Bates is going to get 32 minutes. Uh, Jaron Jackson, 31. Clint Bell, 28. So quickly, he's going to get 29. Obviously, John Moran with 38. So, Cole Anthony's coming off the bench. Desmond Bain, A.J. Griffin Jr. Or, A.J. Griffin Jr., that's what I said. Uh, Zaire Williams. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the people that aren't playing, that are deep in the bench, they're pretty solid. And then, obviously, our reserves are actually pretty good, too. But, hey, this team is team's got a lot of talent. Are we good enough to win? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, Bates can have another nice season. His rebounding still is terrible. I don't know why it is, but... Um, I don't know. We're going to send me the trade deadline, and I'll see you guys once I'm there. We skipped past the trade deadline, so we skipped back to one. We skipped away one game. It is what it is. Who cares? We're 36 and 20. We're playing well. This is our best season so far. Let's take a look at the stats, see how everybody's doing. Uh, Baze is my leading scorer now, and he's almost up at two rebounds a game. He's at 6.3 assists, which is solid. Uh, the defense looking pretty good, and shooting very efficient once again. Uh, John Moran's still doing pretty well, which is good to see. Uh, John Jackson Jr. is doing his thing. Quickly's having a nice season. Cole Anthony off the bench. Clint Capella, uh, double double machine. Uh, AJ Griffin Jr.'s chipping in with 10 of his own. I mean, there's a lot of talent on this team. It really is. I mean, seven guys, double figures. Two guys averaging above 20. Uh, yeah, Monty Bates has become a very nice scorer. Uh, a little bit of playmaking and some defense, but still can't rebound that well. Um, it is what it is. Um, but let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the standings. Yeah, 36 20, five and a half games back of the Pelicans. We're not going to get the first seed, but I will take the second seed. And uh, coaching game plan. Uh, we're just going to adjust it. So there we go. Perfect. And I will see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully this year we can actually make a decent run in the playoffs. Never seen this before. Evan Mobley winning MVP. I have never seen this before. Uh, this is new. This is, uh, this is new. Fair play to Evan Mobley. Fair play. MVP. Uh, Christian Stevenson, rookie of the year, six million of the year, Sky Clark, Spencer Giannis, most approved Jordan Walsh, coach of the year, Willie Green, exec of the year, Dylan Shaw. And yeah, we're the two seed. So we had a very nice year this year, which is awesome. Uh, he's all going to be a first, second, and third. Okay, no, no Grizzlies in sight. Uh, then all defensive first and second. We got Jaron Jackson Jr. on all defensive second again. So that's good to see. So he's playing some amazing defense. I mean, the guy's block averages over two and a half, nearly two and a half blocks a game. Shoots the ball pretty well. Wasn't too bad. It was all right. It's all right. He's the third option. So, and then rookies don't really care about. So yeah, we're gonna submit to play in. But before we do that, we were 53 and 29. Not too bad. I'd say it's pretty good. But Pelicans were clearly better than us. Uh, Monty Bates with 21.6 points a game, two rebounds. Let's go. Good to see Monty Bates actually getting some rebounds. Uh, so yeah, the rebounding is improved very gradually. Maybe by the time he's in his prime, he'll average four. But, uh, yeah, the assists are up. Steals. Uh, the blocks are... Mm. Yeah, still at a 50-40-90 year. 
Um, which is good to see. Uh, yeah, so good numbers from Bates. I'll take it. Uh, John Morant, second option now, I guess, this year. Good stuff from him. Uh, Jackson and Quickly were good. Cole Anthony off the bench. Yeah, the team is solid. I think this team can make a run in the playoffs. Hopefully we can. But I think it's all about matchups. Who's it going to be playing Oklahoma City? They are a seven seed. This is a tough seven seed, man. Okay. Well, game one against the Thunder. Can we beat them? We do. Game two. We're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? No, we can't. So 2-1. 2-2. Two, two, two. Okay, 3-2. Please win game seven. Or uh, six. And I didn't win. So we're going on game seven. <sighs> Give less minutes to Jaren Jackson Jr. Sure. Coaching game plan. Why not adjust it? There you go. All right. Winner takes on the Timberwolves. No, I didn't want to simcast or simcast live. All right, I guess we're sim... All right, sure. I guess we'll do it this way. All right, we're going with six. Uh, is this as fast as I can go? Um, I don't know. I didn't want to simcast or simcast live, but... All right. Um, I guess once this is near the fourth quarter... I guess I'll come back to you guys. I didn't mean to do this. So I had to just quit. I I, I actually clicked the wrong thing. But we ended up winning. I don't know what we won by, but I'm kind of curious to see what we won by. Uh, oh, we blew them out. Blew them out in game seven. All right, so we're taking on the Timberwolves in the second round. So we got to the second round, which is great. I'll just fix up the game plan. There we go. So game one against the Timberwolves. Here we go. Can we beat them? Game one. We do. Can we win game two? We do. Can we win game three? Yes, we can, and we're going to the Western Conference Finals. Okay. Taking on the Pelicans, who had a tough series against Sacramento. All right, here we go. Game one, the Pelicans take the victory. Game two, the Pelicans take the victory. Game three, we win. Can we win game four? We don't. We're down 3-1. We lose in five. Amazing. Well, guys, that's annoying, but we got to Western Conference. The Heat somehow win the finals with this guy. Sure. Um, let's take a look at the playoff stats. Uh, curious to see how they would, those would look. So Bates was my leading scorer. So he, I mean, listen, he was good in the playoffs. Uh, he got better in the playoffs. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys. Um, we just couldn't get the job done. Couldn't get the job done. But I do think if we kept simulating and we kept all the guys together... This would be a contender for sure, obviously. I'd say Bates, Morant, and, you know, Triple J would be definitely in contention every year. You know, a couple years down the road, for sure. Like, around this time, they'd probably be in contention like they are now uh, with the best of them. So, I guess we'll just close out the video, though. If you did leave a like on it and subscribe and let me know in the comments below some more videos come down in the description play this containing other nba 2k22 content check out my channel if you guys like other content from me and you all know, you get any any video ideas then not to just be 2k just want to let you guys know but if it is that's fine too but yeah I, overall we didn't get the championship but we did get better we got to western Conference final in our final season lost in five it is what it is um but i will say We'll say that if this were to happen, like I said, I think this team would be contending for sure. Like, definitely making it to the Western Conference Finals. Maybe making a Finals run. Maybe winning the Finals. But, unfortunately, we couldn't get that done. I definitely thought we underperformed in the first three seasons. Uh, especially last year and the year before that one. Maybe the first season, whatever. But, I don't know. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a good night. See you soon. And peace.